Hello and welcome everyone to the Delmar Show. Who here remembers my old videos? Oh, good, nobody does. So anyway, the reason why I mentioned that is because one of my very first top 10 lists that I ever did was my top 10 favorite video game music tracks. It was my first top 10, it was like episode 4 of my series. And while I do love some of the video game music to this day, after being exposed to much more variety of different games, the list has not really agreed up to part of my decisions now, and looking back at it, it's kind of poor in quality and not really that good. Also, I messed up on number 6. I was a very dumb kid back then. Now I did try to make a new top 10 list of my favorite video game soundtracks. The only problem is, well, there's a whole bunch of great video game music out there. There's been so many that I've used a ton in my videos, so many that I love listening to on my MP3 player, and I mean, it's, it's just hard to really choose my personal favorite top 10. It would have to be a top 20, heck, even a top 30 to fit the amazing video game music that has been composed. And that's why I came to the conclusion that instead of making a top 10 list of my favorite video game music of all time, because I got so many, I decided to make separate top 10 lists. Like say for example, the top 10 music tracks from the SNES era, the top 10 video game music that makes me pumped up, or for today's list, the top 7 most relaxing video game music. Why 7? Because I can only think of 7, now stop complaining already! Imagine this, will you? You're having a bad day, you get home, you're tired, and... Or maybe you're not feeling well, you're sad, or ticked off, and you can't go to sleep or something. These are the music tracks that you play to help ease your mind down, smooth the soul, and just relax you all together. But before I do, I want to make one big disclaimer real quick. This is my personal favorite list. Not everybody's just what relaxes me, which music tracks I enjoy when I want to relax, unwind, or just get into a good happy place basically. I know I'm gonna be missing a lot of video game soundtracks from other games like say Skyrim or Persona or something, but you may make clear I have not played every single video game franchise out there and the reason why yours may not be on my list is either because A. I have not played the game yet or B. I just prefer one music track more than another. So with that disclaimer out of the way, you sit back, relax, and enjoy the video game soundtracks that relaxes me. I'm just gonna lean back here. Oh yeah, that's right. This chair doesn't lean, dang it. When you think of relaxing video game music from any of the Donkey Kong Country games, most people will automatically think of the aquatic theme from the first game. And while it is a good, well-composed music soundtrack, I personally prefer the Force Interlude from the sequel. Now, I haven't played the sequel yet, but I have heard a ton of the OST from all three games, and they're all amazing, they're all equally great music tracks. But for this interlude, I love because I think it matches the series perfectly. You're an ape, you're in the forest, jungle, whatever, uh, you're tired of beating up Kremlings and you just want to sit back, go on top of the tallest tree in the forest, jungle, place, whatever, and you just want to relax and hear the wonderful noises of environment, animals, trees, leaking water, you know, you get what I'm saying. And not to mention, added to that, that you got a very good tasty banana with you. You are set to be in a very relaxing mood. And this music track, I personally think, is the most relaxing out of the whole Donkey Kong Country games. Also, this gives me a good reason to eat this banana. Mm -hmm.
Number six is a classic for me. You're playing Super Mario 64 and you decide to go to either Die Dar Docks or Jolly Roger Bay. And when you jump into that world, not only will you be graced by the joy of swimming in a flea dimensional world, you'll also be graced with a very peaceful soundtrack. That actually is a very interesting composition. When you start in the level and jump into the water swimming, the music will be this nice aquatic theme. And then when you jump back out into land, the theme has a little beat to it. You know, kind of like in uh, Mario Kart 7, you know, after you get all the coins, there's a little drum beat that plays. It's, it's pretty nice and pretty smoothing. And this track to me, definitely replicates the first time I ever played Mario 64. It was the very first video game I ever played and hearing this track in particular actually brings back a whole childlike wonder and fun feel to it because this was technically the first game I ever played where I can actually go swimming in it and for many people this is the first 3D platformer where you can swim in whole 3D environments and the music definitely it just makes it feel special in that particular way. Crossing New Leaf was my very first game in the Animal Crossing series, and I'm glad uh, I got to play it. It's a very adorable game, it's definitely different from all the games I've played, I mean, I'm used to like platformers and RPGs, so playing a game like Animal Crossing was a very unique experience, and I definitely loved playing it. Now, the only problem I had with the game was trying to play it at certain times, because a little trivia here. In real life, I'm a grocery overnight stocks person. I work during the nighttime and sleep during the day. So you can imagine when you're trying to play the game during the nighttime, all your neighbors are asleep, the stores are closed, and then during the day, well, my eyes still burning! <laughs> yeah. Um, I, that's an accident representation there. Actually, to be fair, I really don't mind playing the game during the night time. Sure, the stores are closed, well, most of them anyway, and most of your neighbors are probably asleep, but as I walk around during the night time, during the 1am, as the music starts playing, the scenery actually is very peaceful and beautiful to admire. Not to mention, as you look around the accomplishments, like see what bridges you build, or tower cl or clock towers and stuff like that in the game, it makes you feel accomplished and pleased as what you accomplished so far as mayor in the game. It, it's just a very lovely piece and I love 1AM. Although to be fair, I love all the soundtracks in New Leaf. In fact, if you notice in my videos, I use a lot of the Animal Crossing New Leaf soundtracks in there, mainly because it's peaceful and beautiful. I love it. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is a very dark game, like seriously, if you compare it to all the other Zelda games, this one has the most darkest story, a lot of heavy themes, and it's definitely not really meant for kids, I guess, but you know what, Majora's Mask is still a fun game. I think a lot of people can tell what song I'm gonna say, because it's the song that heals the body. And that's literally what it's called, the Song of Healing. I mean, really, how can you go along with a title like that? This song is probably one of the best, well-played, well 
Fall Down, just well most recognized song out of all the Zelda games. Aside from like the main theme, Goritos Valley and so on, Song of Healing is just a very relaxing song and definitely plays well with the themes that carry out throughout Majora's Mask. Now I'm not going to talk about the themes in question because that's for an entirely different video and plus so many other people on YouTube have, have done videos and topics on Majora's Mask so you're more welcome to watch them if you want but Yes, just all agreed that Song of Healing is a very relaxing song and definitely helps heal <coughs> the body and mind and it's definitely one of my favorite music pieces from the Legend of Zelda games. Okay, this one, I will admit, I'm kind of cheating a bit here, mainly because even though it's part of the Final Fantasy VII universe, it's not really a game, it's a movie. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children has a very well good song, or very well composed uh, choir piece called The Promised Land. Now, why I choose this one over, like, say, Eris' theme, well, even though I love Eris' theme, the Promised Land, in my opinion, is much more relaxing and soul-smoothing, in my opinion. And I think it carries out the themes of Final Fantasy VII a bit more, makes it more understood, I guess. And this might be a little bit controversial, so please keep an open mind. But this is the type of song I imagine hearing when someone goes up to heaven. Like, I know it's kind of odd, and I know there'll be a lot of people who'll be complaining, but please just... This is just my opinion on the matter, but say you died today, and you went up to the gates of heaven. Well, this song, I think, perfectly matches well because life is basically heck and all that. There's so much trouble and, and so much hatred around the world, and finally, finally being able to get through all that and go to the afterlife, uh, it just feels very relaxing that you finally reached the promised land that you reached well, heaven. It's a very well orchestrated chorus piece, whatever, even if you don't agree with me on it or not. Just, just admire the good music that it has from one of the most famous uh, RPGs of all time. Even though I stole the song from a movie, but the movie's based on a game. Eh, game based movies, they count too, I guess. I love DuckTales, I love the TV show, and I love the games. I love the NES game and the remastered version. I actually talked about the NES and Wii U versions of the game but way back in my second original games remake. And even though I love the NES game, the remastered one I think was done much better. I love all the improvements that they did, and I especially love the music for this. Sure, you can switch the game to the 8-bit soundtrack, which I love, but the, the updated music that Jay Kaufman did was very well done. And probably one of my favorites that surprised me was the song played at the end credits. After you get past through the DuckTales theme song, this piano rendition of the moon based level theme plays and is very smoothing and relaxing. When you hear the song, you can kind of feel the essence of the pianoist 
pouring all of his energy into this one specific piece. And it shows because DuckTales for most people was very important to them. For those who grew up watching the television show, for those who grew up playing the NES game, and for those who just admire and love Scrooge McDuck and all of his adventures and stuff. And this song perfectly replicates the adventureness of the, throughout the whole DuckTales series. Um, I know there'll be some people who prefer the Amazon theme or the Transylvania theme, but the Moon Base level is a classic, and the piano rendition they did here is definitely beautiful, and I enjoy it. And the number one most relaxing song out of all the video game soundtracks I've heard belongs to Roxas' theme from Kingdom Hearts in general. Now for the sake of complication because the whole story of Kingdom Hearts is one big mess, I'm only going to focus on Roxas' part in Kingdom Hearts 2, more specifically the first two hours of play playing as Roxas. Now Roxas as a character has been through a lot of crap. There's a lot of strange stuff going on as he discovers. There's also a lot of characters he meets that he doesn't recognize and he's going through an identity crisis. And not to, not to mention trying to figure out who he is, what the nobodies are, who Naminé is and all that stuff. And when you finally get to the end of Roxas' journey, finally accepting who he is and stuff, this theme plays and it's so beautiful and definitely is relaxed and this song is not only just a very well composed piece of music but it's also a good song to play whenever you are finally accepting who you are or uh, willing to forgive someone after so much heck and it's just a very nice and smooth and relaxing composition that really does it makes my spine shiver a bit but in a good way not many music pieces do that to me a lot and every time I use it to Roxas' theme, it just, it definitely makes me feel relaxed and it makes me proud of what has gone on and like what I have to go through to get to this point in life. And it's just a very well composed song and very relaxing to me. And hopefully you guys feel the same way. And that's all the time we have for today, folks. So, if you would like to leave your thoughts as to what video game soundtracks make you feel relaxed, soothes your soul, whatever, just comment below. And I know I missed out on some music tracks from so many great games, but again, I'm only limited to what games I played or which games I know a whole lot about because I know there are a lot of great relaxing and soul smoothing themes for, like, say, Skyrim or any major RPG. But again, this is just my list, so take it with a grain of salt. Oh, and also, I apologize if I did a very poor job at explaining music. I am not a musician, and, uh, yeah, but, yes, yeah, just still with that. And now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna finish my banana! Oh! Oh. Oh. Good thing I got a storage unit of these. So, yes, begin! What the- Oh, oh! Ow! I forgot the pill was there. Ow! Oh!
Oh, gee. Sid, come and pick me up! Help me, please! Uh, oh, hi. Um, you've reached an end slate, even though this is not like my other end slates. Um, click one of these videos here, and I hopefully you enjoy them. And hey, if you suggest want to suggest more different music tracks for video games, then go on ahead. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. You don't have to watch me eat this banana. I mean, do you want a banana? I mean, I got plenty. I'll go get some if you if you're hungry. I don't mind. I mean, it's just bananas. I mean, it's not like they're going extinct or shorter or anything, you know? I personally choose this one. <laughs>